So today we got a 2023 release um, from Yves Saint Laurent. We've got the new Y Eau de Parfum Intense. It's very, very solid fragrance. Um, it's actually more than solid, it's really amazing. It's like, it's like YEDP, um, just the sweetness is toned down and it's got a bit of woods at the bottom just to give it a little bit more of a base. Um, and it, it is very similar, uh, just like I said, the sweetness is toned down. Um, you don't get that apple, that same apple feel from the original, well not the original, but the EDP. Um, you don't get that same apple feel, but also there's a syntheticness that's spoken about when they're talking about why EDP. And I definitely could understand what they mean. It's there. Uh, it's probably the way they tried to make the apple smoke come off. Nevertheless, it's still great. But in the new one, it's not it's not as much. You still get like a gingeriness. Um, and I know some of them are supposed to have tonka bean, I believe. I think they all do, but uh, it's not listed in this one. But in the left part from one, it is, and there's like a similar sort of vibe that I'm picking up from there too. Maybe it's not the tonka bean, but it's 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 also a similar vibe to um, Allure, Ohm Sport, Oh Extreme, and that one does have tonka bean. It's kind of tonka bean, tonka bean. It's kind of like a creaminess that's like hidden. Just, it's just hidden there somewhere in the bottom. I can smell it, and it's really really good. Top notch is what I would say. Um, weather, occasion, all year round. This stuff is great, all year round. Um, winter, spray a little bit more, you know? If you do five, do like seven or something. Um, or like if you layer stuff, put some on the outer layer. Um, yeah, because it, I mean, I don't see how this can't be pulled off in the heat. I don't see how it can be pulled off, can't be pulled off in the cold. It's, it's that good, it's very versatile. And in terms of like the longevity, really good too. I'm gonna say like six, five, six hours, seven maybe. Uh, it's a freshie, at least to me it's a freshie. It doesn't have like the same, uh, you know, heavy uh, winter kind of feeling that, Spice Bomb Extreme gives you, or um, Ultraman, I, I don't know, it's fresh, it's fresh but it's also sweet, the same way that the other ones are, so I, it's just, it's just very, it's a very good fragrance, it's probably, it's not number one for me, maybe it's, maybe it's number two, it's a new number two in town. Um, because the original was always going to be the one. That's the one. It started it, at least for me, and you know, you got memories attached to your sets. So maybe when you make some new memories with this one, or when I do, maybe then this will be one. But right now, that's one. Um, so, occasion, like I said, pretty much whenever you want work, going out for a walk you're gonna run some errands hell even if you're gonna go on a date interview <laughs> uh, it's it's very good fragrance um, and it works almost anytime anywhere all seasons I believe this will be like a one of these really 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 crowd-pleasing fragrances um, in terms of the price though, these YSL ones, they're, they're expensive, they're expensive, they are. Um, I think it's like 140, 130 around there, maybe more. I think it's more, which is why in my head I have like the, um, the expensiveness, like it's like linked to these things. 
Uh, and just to be clear, expensive doesn't mean good, right? Because you got Armoff stuff up there, like this, which is not expensive, but it's really great. So expensive doesn't mean good, but it is expensive and it is good. Um, and then again, you could pick it up at, at any department store um, or maybe not any, but definitely like Macy's in that level, like department store. And then you can't pick it up online yet, but if you want to go ahead and then it'll be cheaper when you do, you just got to wait in the future. Um, yeah, 2023 is releasing some banger fragrances. You got, uh, the new Prada Ocean. You got the Victory. That was, you got the Invictus Victory. You got that Lamal Elixir coming out, which I can't wait to get. You got, um that spice bomb infrared all these things coming out you had Givenchy society when I, when I smelled that that was amazing so amongst a load of awesome releases this year this is definitely up there this is good and I mentioned the other ones I'll rank them out I might as well number one like I said is still Y E D P. This is definitely battling for second place with um, Y Le Parfum. And then last place is Y. And it's not the new formulation, it's the original one. But anyway, th this is a really good one too. It's just the longevity is not there for me. Um, and I like sweet, so that's why Y80P, along with the memories, that's number one. But why EDP Intense, the ginger, woody, citrusy, sweet fragrance, but not as sweet as the other one, but still really, really, really versatile, mass appealing. I suggest you get it, pick it up, it's pretty good. Bye.